Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Today is March 17th, 2013. Let's get right into the snowfall accumulations we're expecting for the northeast. This is the main area of concern you can see right across the northeast here. Uh, most of the areas that will get the most snow will be southern New Hampshire, down east Maine, uh, parts of northern Massachusetts, and heading on up into extreme northwest New Jersey and the higher elevations, and extending down towards the Poconos and southern Catskills. This is where we could see upwards of 11, maybe as high as 16 inches, a, narrow, a very narrow range. I've tried to narrow these down as much as possible. You can see across the Allegheny Plateau here, back here in Pennsylvania, anywhere from 6 to 10 inches of heavy wet snow, and then the fuchsia purple color, actually the dark purple color, I should say that's where we'll get three to five inches. Now you see this area across the Finger Lakes and the, you see these, it's almost like a lake shadow. There will be a little bit too much warm air in the lower elevations. The valley regions could see particularly below 925 feet. Most of the valleys in New York, Pennsylvania and the New England states will most likely, and down and through the mid-Atlantic here, will only see about two to four inches of, he of heavy wet slushy accumulation and that will mix with sleet, freezing rain, and sometimes plain rain down here towards the nation's capital, Philadelphia, parts of the southern part of New York City, heading out towards Long Island and Cape Cod. It's inland, and especially the higher elevations where we get into the heavy wet snowfall accumulations. And now that low pressure will be riding up through the Great Lakes. That'll spread warm air initially in the, the mid layers and then as this low pressure takes over along the coast and strengthens and moves up just east of New England, that's where we'll see the snowfall rates intensify and the cold air will begin to filter back down through. However, there'll be enough warm air later on Tuesday for things to really st uh, change over to rain across portions of the mid-Atlantic here. So this is going to be a very heavy wet snow and in the valleys slushy accumulation. So that's what I'm expecting here for snowfall accumulations. So, if we get right into the pictures that people sent in, this one's from uh, Derek from, I believe, Lebanon, Pennsylvania. You can see here, this is called an onion snow. This is where um, you get a very late winter season, early spring season, uh, snowfall across the area. And you can see it's pretty much coating everything. It's, it looks very wet and heavy. This is from the other day. And here's another one from him. Uh, thank you, Derek, for the snowman here. And very nice. This is a smaller one. But nevertheless, enough snow to make a snowman, which is good. And here we go from James from Northeast New Jersey. You can see here's an igloo. This is back from uh, back when we had the blizzard back in early February, around February 7th, February 8th. This is where uh, we had that big New England blizzard. Now, northeast New Jersey, they got a lot. You can see the igloo here. Very nicely done. Thank you, James, from northeast New Jersey. I'm also including last names here on the bottom part, but I'm not very good with pronouncing last names very well, so bear with me. And here from Roseland, New Jersey. Here we go. This one. This is back from February 9th. This is actually February 8th, February 9th, the, the New England blizzard. You can see, thank you Lenny for this. This is Lenny from Roseland, New Jersey. Look at this, a nice, this is a pretty decent snow even for New Jersey. Looks like about several inches of heavy wet snow accumulation. And you can see across, oh, look at this. You got the sidewalk, thanks again Lenny. You can see very, very well defined amount of snow here. It looks like a sizable amount. And that, here we go, there's a really good one. This is really nice. You can see the decent amount of snow across this region. New Jersey didn't have barely any snow last winter, but they made up for it this winter. Looks good. Thanks, Lenny. And, wow, we have three more pictures here to show you. This is from Lucas. Lucas D. and Linden, Texas. You can see this is a jet. This is using, he said it, he used a 32x super zoom on this. You can see very nicely done. Look how close you got in on that jet and the jet trail. Here is what I really want to get into. Look at this. I've got a Canon T3i Rebel with a tele telephoto lens. 
I really want to get into this type of thing. And th this is this is really nice, Lucas. Thanks for sending this in. This is a very nicely done moonshot. Very nicely done, and it takes a lot. It takes a lot of time to set up this sort of thing. This is not an easy thing to just go outside and zoom in and take a picture of the moon. You have to have the right settings, the right tripod, etc., etc. So this is really nice. And here, here is a look at this one. I think I can explain this. This is uh, Lucas from London, Texas again. You see this arc shaped in the clouds. The clouds are over here in the, what, I, what I would believe would be the lower to mid layers. Maybe mid layers. I'm going to say mid layers because they look like alto cumulus. And then on the back edge here, you've got this area where there's no alto cumulus. This to me tells me that there's a lack of moisture. There's some intrusion of dry air at this layer, probably about a mile or two up, probably a mile, mile and a quarter in that range and it's coming in from whatever direction this would be um, I'm judging it looks it almost looks like the east here but it looks like there's a, a, a intrusion of dry air I don't want to say it's a front because fronts usually aren't that sharp although they can be but you can see this is a really nicely done picture thank you Lucas for sending this in there's some very interesting weather in Texas especially with clouds and I'm glad Lucas has been sending these in because this is for, for all of you for that matter. But Texas has some interesting clouds for that matter. So other than that, that's all I have to talk about for the East Coast storm. Uh, I will do a more comprehensive preview tomorrow as we get closer to the storm. But snowfall accumulations, I've only had to tweak very minor. So forecast looks in very good shape and don't forget to like me on Facebook at MediaMark so that subscribes you to my micro updates when I'm not making a video go to MediaMark.com for the latest updates especially for my local viewers and here's a four-day forecast for my hometown viewers from Binghamton Tamara the northern tier counties of Pennsylvania here Monday we're gonna get into some late day rain and snow developing around 5 p.m. or after 5 p.m. Only expect a half an inch of snowfall and it'll be very wet. Look at the lows. Waking up for your Monday morning tomorrow, 9. Very chilly. We're only heading up to 35. Monday night, I include Monday night in this one because we're actually looking at uh, a really bad situation. Well, not really bad, but we're looking at very inclement weather Monday night for the southern tier of New York, the northern tier counties of Pennsylvania here. And this is where we get into snow sleet. Snow through 8 to 8 a.m. or 8 p.m. to midnight. Then we're looking at midnight to 3 a.m. probably sleet, freezing rain, and then all freezing rain after 3 a.m. to about 6 a.m. So that's what we're looking at there. And it's going to be a really bad Tuesday morning commute for you. Tuesday. This is where the temperatures actually start to warm up. We get up to 43 degrees. That should melt some of the snow. A.m. snow showers, p.m. drizzle and light rain. Then Wednesday, partly cloudy, mid-30s, and lows in the low 20s.